This is actually really exciting, getting ready to put in our first of plants. Mike gets to do his favorite thing on the bus build today. Cut more curves that match the ceiling of the bus. Not do you love my it? favorite. It's not my favorite. Don't mislead them. He loves it. I do have it down to a science, though the science is, seems to be imperfect. <laughs> <laughs> you do all this measurement, you know it's perfect, and then you take it in there. And it's not. And it's just it's off by like a half an inch, and you're just like how did I mismeasure by like right? a half an inch? Like that's impossible. What just happened? It's it's impossible. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Guess I never really had the chance to speak my mind. Oh. What? I covered the switch plate. Whoops. Of course, the board would have to go in exactly the wrong place. <laughs> so keep me moving to the beat of the night till the lights go out. Oh, and if you want, baby, I could be the only one. Make up. Here's the thing. We just didn't know we needed to leave more room 
on this edge. We were just snugging it right up against this wall as tight as we could to take advantage of the most space as possible and didn't realize that this edge right here needs to be sitting all the way back inside here, not out here in the front. So it is just not, it's not going in where it needs to go. And there's no extra room on this side to scoot it over either. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna have to bodge it somehow. Switch these doors around. Sounds like a giant pain because we have to flip them all. And this over. isn't this isn't the actual front of the door. You can order separate door panels in different colors. You have to order separate. It never comes with it. Or you could do your own thing. Yeah. Like some, you could do your own thing with a like metal insert paneling or paneling, paneling or wood, whatever you wanted to do. But we ordered black. Freezer, refrigerator. Looks great. Can't put the, thing, the doors on the front, but this is such a construction zone. I don't even want to put the doors on. I know. Yet. I was thinking the same I'm thing. Wait till the end. Yeah, me too. And then we'll just turn these to where the handles. Or right, turn around, and see what it looks like. Oh, you want to do it today? Might as well. from the upper cabinet hinge, reverse this hinge and put it on the other side of the refrigerator as the lower cabinet hinge. Oh, I see. Really? Make sure that the center of the hinge slots are aligned with the center of the hinge screw holes in the refrigerator. Now for the fun part. It's a puzzle. I need to go get a driver for this. I'll do. Interesting. to make it out to be in all the forums. All the forums are like, well, you can do it, but it's really hard. They probably don't have the ingenuity that you have and didn't build anything themselves. Could be. Mm, it just got way more interesting though. What just happened? How are we gonna turn that around? Oh, that's probably in the instructions too. Install the decorative door panel. Not there yet. Reverse the door swing. How about the door latch? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. Reverse the door handle and put on other side of each door. Pull the panel retainers off each door. Whatever holds the front panels on. So all those side pieces must be panel retainers. Did you figure it out? This 
sort of, it's just a pain. Well, you can do it, but it's really hard. Not so bad. Yeah. Good. Yeah, Mike is doing all this. All this. Really, all of it. Wow, so cool. I can't believe you did this. Yeah. Do you need those pieces? People always ask, can, can you turn the doors around? And the answer is, yes you can. And it is a little weird. <laughs> it's not hard. Gotta have it's... a little patience and ingenuity. And faith, actually. <laughs> There's actually faith involved in this. You just have to believe that it's gonna work. Because you have to go straight through plastic and hope that there's a, uh, um, like a threaded screw hole there on the other side of the plastic. And there is. And there is. Wait a minute. I have screws left. <laughs> you have another door left. Yeah, but what are the screws go oh, to? Oh, they pass to the holes over oh, here. Oh, here, yeah. yeah. Okay. Here, let me show that. I don't think it matters. Not a place to keep with screwdrivers and you don't put it in the freezer, okay? <laughs> oh, this one's not on right. Oh, because I didn't change the strike plate on this one. So you gotta take it back apart? I take the door off to get it. Oh man. It's alright. At least you know how to do it now. Yeah. So here's how to take off the refrigerator door. Part two. Yeah. There shouldn't be a part two <laughs> in refrigerator door removal, just clarification. It's just that the door wasn't latching for some reason. It's because I didn't move the latch over to this side, which only takes four screws total. The hinge was drooping just a tiny bit, and uh, so I wanted to adjust it up so the lock works a little better. Ooh, that seemed like a good lock. Feels good. Excellent. Get that out of the way now. It's a little bit later. Good. Nobody lost a finger, and that's good. Well, you can do it, but it's really hard. How much of Haha, Murphy, we got one over on you this time. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> Don't tempt him. You